She's just an extremely complex character that was really fascinating to develop and, and uh, to play. She's just, um, you know, her vulnerability is, is there, but it is so far underneath her need to survive, her need to hustle. She begins as somebody who doesn't like who she is, who doesn't like who she was, and so she wants to create a world for herself which she um, can project her fantasies of who she wants to be. So she begins to construct this world where she feels how she wants to feel, she looks how she wants to feel, she's with a man who um, values her intelligence, who values her, um, and she believes that it's real. And when that's taken away from her, it creates a huge conflict, and then it's her hustle to get back to that. It's her, it's her need to get back to that place where she feels in control of her identity again. I really think that as, as we begin, Sydney thinks she's embarking on the greatest love of her life. She doesn't think she's a con artist. She thinks it's real. And everything that they discover together is out of their love and out of her love and out of her admiration. And he empowers her. And the conning just further empowers her. I mean, you could easily get caught up in the fact that these two are con artists, but really, I've never met a more charming character than you know, Christian playing Irving. I mean, it's just amazingly charming, and you really identify with him. And, and I can see how Sydney not only gets caught up in it, because I don't even think she's manipulated into it. I think she is excited by it. And she sees somebody else who has struggled to invent themselves and who has struggled to survive, and not only survive, but sort of surpass their expectations of themselves. And she gets caught up in that, and she, it's sexy. I think that Sydney has always felt like she hasn't found anybody who's seen through her act, so to speak. And he sees through it immediately. And he loves her because of that, not in spite of it, you know? And he loves her for her, she believes. And I think they really, truly do love each other. And I think that she um, is taken with the power that he gives her and the trust that he instills on her. And that's, that's powerful to her. Jennifer Lawrence is a, if I could swear I would, she is a power house. Not just in her acting, but her presence. And she's like, if I could go back and do it again, I want to be her. You know, she's just awesome. She just has a strong sense of self, and she's a good, good actress. And she shows up, and she works hard, and she goes for it. And she's fearless, and I love that about her. Bradley is like, he will do anything, you know? He is just like, he's like the cheerleader on set. He's like, let's do this, let's do this, come on everybody. He's just like, he pumps us up every day. To have somebody who's so committed to their character that they just transport you just by their presence is a real gift in that situation. And, um, He's like my hero in this film. He just, I, yeah, I had a great time with him. The first thing he does is touch her before he even talks to her. You know, and, and he's so confident in her reaction, what her reaction will be, 
that it sort of informs her reaction, you know? And I think he is, um, he's doing what he needs to do to survive and she sees a kindred spirit. Somebody who, um, they just have a lot in common and she hasn't met that before. And somebody who gives her credit for more than just the lie that she presents, you know, who sees her for more than just that. I do think that, you know, in our, in our quest for truth, that ultimately if we focus on finding our truth, it will lead us through, you know, whatever lies that we're living and, and lead us to a better place. Um, and hopefully that's where these characters end up at the end of the film is in a better place.